Today I will show you how you can easily create Saturn in Photoshop and then put it in any scene that you want, for example something like this. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another really fun episode. A long time ago I did a tutorial how to create planets in Photoshop basically with just one click. It's really easy, so if you want to revisit that tutorial you can find the link right here. And from then till today I got a lot of questions. Okay, the planets are cool, but how to create a Saturn, actually the ring of the Saturn in Photoshop? Well, that's really easy too. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Alright guys, today we will start with this image and first thing that we need to do is to create a planet and then we will create that ring around the planet. So, to create a planet, it's really easy like that, I will just run through those steps. If you want a little bit slower, go check out that tutorial that I mentioned before, how to create planets in Photoshop and then I will show you how easy it is to create a ring. So, let's do it. First, that I want to do is to duplicate this a background layer just in case I need it again. I will actually need it again so I will press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy. And I can hide background because I don't need it. And now I will go to 3D. Go to New Mesh from Layer, then Mesh Preset and choose Sphere. And guys, it will ask me if I want to switch to 3D workspace. I will not do that now. You can if you want and this is it. I have a planet. Perfectly, really nice planet that I will use for my workflow. Alright, now here in 3D space I already showed in my previous tutorials about how to create planets. You can go and choose lights, then you can go and just move the lights however you want, choose wherever you want uh, your lights to have. I will just leave it like that as default for now and then when you're set with everything you can just right click on the layer and say render 3D layer. I will not render it right now because it will take a while, maybe 15 minutes or so. I will just rasterize the layer, but before that I just want to remove the shadows. So I need to go here to this 3D menu, to the cube, then to the lights and then to the properties, alright? And I just want to shut off the shadows. I don't want shadows. Then I will go right here, right click and rasterize 3D so I have just this as a regular layer. So this is it. So easy, so fast to create to create any kind of planets in Photoshop, you just need to find the proper texture. That's it. Now let me show you how easy it is to create that ring. Also this technique can be used in a lot of different creative ways, so let's do it. For creating that ring you will need again the same or some other texture that you want. I will use the same, so I will go right here, I will hide the planet. Okay, just rename it to planet. And I will use rectangular marquee tool and create a selection that is so narrow, maybe one pixel or so, just really, really narrow selection like this. So if we zoom it, you can see really, really narrow. Alright, and now I will just press Ctrl or Command J to extract that, to make a copy of that. If I hide the background layer, you will see I have only that. Alright, now I will go to Transform. Press Ctrl or Command T. Okay, press and hold Shift and just do this. Just drag it. I will unzoom this a lot because I need to drag it, I'm holding shift, I need to drag it a lot like that. So as you can see I have this really crazy thing going on on the screen. Okay, I will press OK and now what I like to do, I like to go to a crop tool and just, let's clear this, I just want to make this wider. Okay, something like that. So I have really really wide document with my planet right here but I will move my planet somewhere, somewhere here. So this is really, really cool. And now what I like to do, I like to click on my layer, this stretch layer, go with the rectangular marquee tool and just choose a portion of it. For example, something like, like this and extract that. Control or Command J and hide this so I, I have only that. Now I go to filter distort and polar coordinates and that's it. So if you can see here, if I unzoom this, you will see something is happening here on the screen. I will press OK and I will have this crazy result really easy, something like Saturn's ring, but we will modify it. I will just make this bigger, 
just expand my canvas a little bit more. So this is it guys, it's so simple and easy. Now I will go here, press Ctrl or Command T and make this ring smaller because now it's obviously too big. Also you can transform it, you can make like a real circle if you want, if you're up to that. So just go and transform it if you need for something, I don't know, maybe the view from above or whatever you want. But I will just go transform it like this, make it smaller. Also, if you are holding Control or Command key, you can just change the perspective of this more narrow or even go right click. Let me show really quickly. Right click, perspective and just change the perspective if you want to. So that's cool. Right. So maybe a little bit to change the perspective. And this is it. I will press OK. And now we need just to modify this a little bit. So now I can go again to crop. I can just crop this portion because I don't need anything else. And also I can put a black background so I can create new layer right, right there and fill it with the black. And that's it. OK, now what I like to do, I like to put the planet inside this ring. So we just need to play with the masks. We'll, let's go to the planet. Let's rename this ring. OK, let's go to the planet and hide it. And now I want to expand this ring with elliptical marquee tool. So we need to create a lips that will follow this shape. OK, something, something like this. I think it's cool. Let me see. Yes. And I will just create a mask. And also I need to invert mask control or command I just to have this. Now let's reveal the planet. And now how to put the planet inside that ring? Well, that's really simple. We just need to mask out the part of the ring and that's it. So let's do it. Let's create mask on the planet layer like this. And now I want to press and hold control or command key on a Mac, control on Windows, con command on a Mac and click on the ring layer. So this is it. And now guys, we need to go on the planet mask, use a black color brush and I will use harder brush and just paint right here. OK, we are, we are having some small issue here because the selection is a little bit wider, but don't worry about that. You will see why. Now we need to click on the ring mask. So this is it. And now go again to the planet mask and just paint with invert the mask, shift control I or shift command command I on a Mac and now paint inside that ring. And this is it. This is so simple and easy. We have our Saturn almost finished. Now we need to add some dodging and burning to add some shadows and highlights. And that's it. But let me show you one really cool trick. If you go to the planet mask right there and double click on the mask, you will have this layer mask property. And if you lower the density, you can make this ring transparent. So this is cool because actually this is a little bit transparent. So I like to have it something like semi transparent, something like that. Right now, let me show you how you can really easily lighten this planet a little bit better. Now it's too flat. So for that, I will go and create two adjustment layer curves, right? One for dodge and another for burn. So this is a, this is classical dodge and burn thing. And basically we'll do exactly the same that I did in my dodge and burn tutorial, which is really important. If you don't know how to dodge and burn, please check out my tutorial on a link right there. Master dodge and burn. This is really important to know for any kind of Photoshop work. So I will just go quickly through this. This is D for dodge. I will invert the mask. This is B for burn and I will invert the mask. I want to hide this menu. OK, so now I will first burn this part. For example, let's create this layer just just a sec for help. This is the the direction of the light. So here will be highlights and right there will be what is this P <laughs> right there will be shadows. So highlights and shadows. We will burn this part. We will dodge this part. OK, let's delete this. So burn. Let's use a brush, really soft brush, bigger brush and just with maybe 10% opacity. OK, just slowly with white color start to burn down part. And also we want to clip both of these curves adjustment layers to affect only the planet, not the ring, because we will deal with the ring a little bit later. So this is cool, as you can see. Also, we can 
make this even darker like that and put it in a luminosity blending mode because we don't want to affect the light. So this is one way how you can do it with curves adjustment layers. Also, instead of curves, let me just show you really quickly. You can go for burn to exposure. Sometimes for this kind of situations, the exposure is better. So let's make it like this, invert the mask. And now just again, the same procedure. So make this part darker. Okay, like this, this is really dark. And then dodge, and just make this part brighter. I want to also decrease the size of the brush. So this is it. Okay, cool. So again, I want to make this part even darker. And if I hide the ring, not a planet, the ring, you can see we have something like a ball. So this is this is really cool. I really like it. Also, I can make this even darker. Yeah, like that. Then let's go back to our ring. Now we need to transform the same shadows to the ring. So everything is exactly the same. I will go and create a curse adjustment layer. This is for for dodge, D for dodge. Okay, I will invert the mask and clip it to affect only the ring. And this is the exposure for for burning, okay, and I will invert it and that's it. So now we need to create some kind of shadow from the planet and probably the shadow will go somewhere here. I want a little bit harder brush because the light is harsh. So something like this. And also guys, what we can do, we can go to elliptical marquee tool, just create some kind of ellipse right there and go to select transform selection and just by holding control or command key, move those points and choose how your shadow should look. So probably something something like this, press enter and then just fill it with the white. So this is it. And this is how the shadow would probably look here or maybe because it's light, light is coming more from above, the shadow will be shorter. So you can really easily fix this, fix this by going to the mask, transform the mask, control command T and just just make this shorter like that. You can see it's really, really simple. So now we have really nice planet. Also, you can play with the ring. Maybe if this is too wide for you, you can also make it shorter, modify however you want, change the angle, change the shape, do whatever you want, change the texture. It's really, really nice. But as you can see, it's really nice and smooth like a real Saturn ring. So now we can group this. Press Control Command G, name it Saturn. Okay, and now we can transform everything and just maybe tilt it a little bit, right? That's cool. Also, what we can do, we can go to the planet and just duplicate, press Control or Command J, make a copy. And I just want to move, move it a little bit up. I need to get rid of the layer mask because I don't need it. So I will go delete layer mask and make this smaller. So like this. And I can put it like another planet here also. But if you want the better ways to get, just go everything with dodge and burn, select everything, then duplicate control command J. And because I don't need it anymore, I'll just merge everything with control or command E. And now I will, oh, actually I need to first delete layer mask. Now merge everything. And now I can make smaller planet, just transform it, make it like a moon of the Saturn, something like this. I don't know, be creative, do whatever you want. Press and hold Alt or Option key. Maybe you want to duplicate it, put it somewhere behind the Saturn. So move it all the way down. And this is it. As you can see, this is really cool. You can change the color, change, change whatever you want, add whatever you want. Maybe add some kind of rocks around if you want. I don't know. That's all up to you. All creative process is up to you. And now when you have it, you can put it in any kind of situations, for example, like I have right here on the screen. So I created exactly the same Saturn that I showed you a few moments before with that difference that I just changed the lighting conditions. So I just left the uh, top part of the planet brighter and everything else is darker, tilted a little bit and put it in this uh, photo right here. Actually, this is a photo manipulation that I done just for uh, this purpose to, to create something interesting with the planet inside. So if you're interesting, I can just show you right now how I did this kind of photo manipulation. It's really easy, simple, but it 
take some time. So, do you want it? Okay. Okay, let me show you that. I will try to be really quick. Let's go right here and actually let's first create a new document. So, I'll create a new document and uh, let's go with uh, 4000 by 5000. Okay, and now I will make it smaller because now it's too big. Let's go with maybe two, actually, like this. 2000 with 2500, that's cool. Now what we need to do here, I will just go and use some photos that I already did. This one, I will place it right there, make it smaller because now it's too big. Okay, something like, like this and move this a little bit down somewhere here. Okay, then let's go and find some other photos. We will use this one too, just just the mountains. So let's put it right there. Of course, we need to make it smaller. So it will be something like, like this. I just want to rename this house. Okay, and what I like to do right here, I just want to quickly select, uh, get rid of the sky. So I will use quick selection tool and select the sky and just go to select and mask and really quickly just refine this. I will just fast forward this. Ready guys, that's it. And I will just put a layer mask on that, invert the mask, control command I, and now I have a really nice empty photo. So I'll move this down below and remove and put it a little bit more up. So I have a really nice interesting scene with those mountains behind the house and some grass field etc. So as you can see we need to refine this a little bit, the address etc. But I will not do this because it will be a long tutorial. So I just uh, will leave that up to you. Play however you want. I'm just showing you really quickly how I created that scene over there. So on this photo right here on the mountains Okay, I want to remove the sky. So I will again use quick selection tool and this is it. Let's create a mask, invert the mask. Also guys, let me show you. If you don't want to invert the mask all the time, you can just press and hold alt or option key and click on the mask and that's it. You have it, so this is it. Also I will paint with a black brush, not white, 100% opacity and want to remove those borders okay that's cool and now let's go and pick up some other photos i want this one for my background so i'll put it all the way down stars okay i want to make it smaller and i want to rotate it actually something like this why not so this is cool we already have really nice and interesting scene also let's go and pick up the girl let's pick the girl Okay, I already extracted it. I don't want to go all over through this process again because it will take some time. So to save time for this tutorial, I'm already, I already did that before. So let's make her smaller like this. Probably something like this. You can play with the size. Depends how, how near the camera she is. So maybe something, maybe something like that. Also, this background can be, maybe this can be a little bit more up and this can be a little bit more up. Probably something like that. Now everything is a matter of tweaking and repositioning, etc. So now let's go and add some sky. So let's, let's find the photo. This one, I want to copy it and paste it mm, probably behind everything right here. Okay, I need to make it smaller. Control Command T, rotate, put it somewhere here. I want to flip it horizontal, something like this. And this is our sky, it's really cool. And uh, there's one really cool trick how to blend this, uh, this layer, the, the clouds with the background with the cloud brush. If you're not familiar how to create a cloud brush, smoke brush, dust brush, you can watch my tutorial about that right here and create your own. Or you can go to my website and just purchase my set of cloud brush for $1. It's so cheap. And you have the links down there in the description. All right, I will use my cloud brush. I will create a mask, layer mask, go to brush and just 
choose my cloud dust brush with the black color and 100% opacity I will just erase everything here really quickly as you can see it's really nicely blending with the background much better than just using using a regular round soft brush so with the cloud brush you can create some clouds and also you can blend some things so you know that if you're watching this channel following this channel for a while now you know that I like to use those brushes a lot because it's really cool so you can do a lot with them so now we have this and I like to go and find another photo let me see this one I like to use another portion of the sky right here and I will just just put it something probably something like this again layer mask now I will press and hold alter option key and create a black layer mask and with the white brush I will just paint back some clouds like this maybe some here and there and we need to to fix colors on this photo everything is completely different color so we need to fix that the color contrast etc we will do that so now it's time to add a cider in the scene and then I will match the lights and the colors and finalize the photo manipulation I will use that uh, exactly the same Saturn that I already did for this photo manipulation because I don't want to create everything from scratch I already show you how you can do that in the beginning of this tutorial so it's up to you to create any kind of version you like and to lighten it however you want so let's go back here and I'll just paste the one that I already used so I will use bigger portion I don't want to to use small maybe you want something like that it's cool but I don't want that I just want to make it bigger for this kind of photo manipulation and basically this is it now the fun part starts when you need to match the lights uh, colors contrast etc so let's let's do that okay let's start with the girl I want to right click on the mask okay and I, I want to say apply layer mask I don't need a layer mask I want to make her darker so let's go to exposure clip to affect only the girl and just make her dark we will see how dark she will be okay then let's go to the house layer again exposure clip to affect only the house and make everything darker as you can see really nice and cool we need to do the same for everything else so exposure clip to affect that make everything darker and the clouds too I want the clouds to be darker so let me see this is this is it let's go to exposure clip to affect only the clouds maybe a little bit darker or in this case we, we can use we can use brightness and contrast instead of exposure and just make it darker like that and same for another version of clouds so brightness and contrast make everything darker like that also there is really cool trick I like to use it a lot when I'm doing photo manipulations if you don't want to bother with the colors before you're matching the lights etc you can just transform everything into black and white go all the way to the top and just create black and white adjustment layer and now you have only black and white version of everything so you just need to play with the lights how bright or dark something will be also guys I am not 100% sure if I'm matching this right because of this really bright octabox right here that is uh, lit in the scene so just have that in mind right let's go back to work okay now what I like to do right here is let me see okay I want to make these windows like there is a light turn on in the house and how to do this well practically it's really easy I will just go with lasso polygon lasso tool and just create polygons all around here and now press and hold shift and just create a few more and now I will fast forward this because this is the procedure for all small windows on this house right guys now that I already made the selection I will just create a new layer above the house layer all the way here and I will create a new solid color layer right because now I can change the color of the light so something like this will be probably okay now everything is black and white and as you can see this is it of course this is not really nice color for that we will use some brighter orange probably 
more towards the white so let's go let's go something like this and also I will double click on this layer and just go and say outer glow and choose color for outer glow so probably something like this and play with the glow so you can glow it a little bit more or less whatever you want and this is it also you can pay more attention to details and then maybe add some highlights on this bench out there and some other things but I will not go now through this because this is just for uh, example me showing you what you can do I'm not doing this 100% like for a client okay so now I don't need any more this black and white adjustment layer I will just delete it what I like to do I like to go to a girl okay this is girl right And I want to add hue and saturation adjustment layer. I want to lower the saturation a little bit. And I want to go to exposure, maybe make her darker and then go right here on the mask and with really soft round brush, as you can see with a black color, I just want to paint back some rim light. So maybe 10% opacity and just, this is really quickly guys right now, but please spend a little bit more time doing this. Just want to show you the point here just, just a little bit of rim light that is coming probably from the house or something like that nothing special maybe something here a little, little bit like that and maybe on the hat right there probably right here and this is it so this is how the girl looks and now we can go to the house layer and here on the exposure and with again 10 or 5% opacity just paint back here like there is a light coming from the house on this part of the grass that's really cool also I can make this maybe a little bit more orangey something like that then let's go to the clouds clouds are really strange color so let's go right here and this is clouds number one this is clouds number two so here I want to go with a color balance adjustment layer clip it to affect only the clouds layer and now just put it push it towards the cyan something like this the midtones maybe shadows too a little bit of the blue and sand and also maybe I will desaturate a little bit so another hue and saturation adjustment layer and desaturate that like that and also we can play with other clouds color balance and probably more towards and I'm actually not seeing color so good because of this bright light but something like this I think it's cool and also as you can see I have some clouds here that I can delete and let's go to Saturn so now it's too saturated I can just go with hue and saturation adjustment layer and clip it effect only that and desaturate it and basically basically this is it you can tweak it even more do whatever you want and now when you're done you can go all the way to the top add maybe another color balance adjustment layer and just add maybe some bluish tint to this I'm not quite sure because of this light and uh, let's go to the shadows I want just a little bit bluish to the shadows something like that and also guys you can merge everything together with shift Control alt T or shift command option in a Mac go to actually you can put this in smart object then go to filter and camera row okay and here you can play with whatever you want maybe you want to add vignette maybe you want to add a split toning like that that kind of effect maybe you want to brighten the shadows a little bit and add a contrast and clarity to have something like that play with small details lower the saturation maybe something something like this is cool let me see the orange lightness all right saturation maybe a touch and then we can go and add this brighter part here now it's of course too bright maybe we want to saturate that and 
do something like that press ok and this is let me see this is before and after and this is not like a final final result but this is me showing you how you can really easily create this kind of auto manipulation add a planet add a saturn do whatever you want and make your final image really really interesting right guys that's it for today i really hope that you like this episode that you learn something new and interesting out of this one and if you did if you appreciate this content press that like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and also ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes if you have any questions regarding to this episode please leave me down there in the comment section below i will be glad to answer it so the point here was how to create a saturn the ring around the planet you see how easy it is you can use exactly the same technique exactly the same matter to create any kind of uh, stretching trails or whatever you want it's really really cool to use this technique so be creative and also guys if you want to support me to help me to make this channel even bigger and better you can do that by visiting my patreon page the link is down there in the description and also you will get some things in return check it out have fun, experiment, practice, and see you guys in my next fun tutorial. Bye-bye.